So Clayton, can you walk us through what is the point of email security through DNS? How can we protect ourselves or organizations with DNS records in any way, shape, or form? Explain what a DMARC is, sure. et cetera. So, you know, if you think about email, just backing up a little bit, email is a technology that's been built on over, what, 30, 30 some odd years now. So you, you started off with this very basic messaging where you had very implicit trust. Uh, and we we're at where we're at now, where anybody can stand up an email server and try to send as, as any organization in the world, I can try to send as Microsoft. Um, so what we do now is you have a couple of different records you can put in your DNS. Uh, number one, we'll start with the basic, is, is in a protection framework, it's an SPF record. Uh, it says that, hey, I use this email vendor to send emails, or I send emails from this IP address. If you don't see uh, the email originating from one of these sources, please disregard it. Um, that's really the most basic thing you can do, I think, right now, as far as DNS records. You plop that in there, and that informs your sender that maybe this email is not legitimate. Um, very easy to do, you know, quick Google search to tell you how to do it. Um, email, or, uh, if you're a Microsoft customer, you know, it, Nice click through, even connects with your DNS, tells you exactly how to do it, puts records in there for you. You know, from then, from there, you can move on to uh, DKIM signing, which is really just a cryptographic key that you're signing your email messages with. Um, so when it goes out of your email server, you know, outbound, signs it with that key. And then you have a DNS record saying, hey, if this message doesn't match this public key, this, uh, this message is not legitimate. Again, and uh, you know, it just tells the, the sender to disregard that. So all that rolls into the the DMARC record, um, and there's a couple of different pieces there. But you know, fundamentally, it says you can kind of authenticate with an SPF, you can authenticate with a DCAM record, but the DMARC record is going to tell your recipient what to do with that email. So if your DMARC record, like in some of our clients, says reject, it means we have a very good grasp of where our email comes from, what services we're using. And if it doesn't come from one of the services that the client says it comes from, get rid of it. 